Microphone, check it, check it, check one, two, one, two. This is your host, not son, baby. And this is another episode of Swingers After Dark. You know, I was looking on my social media. I'm I'm seeing dudes, you know, they boohooing, crying a river over chicks who are flirtatious. They think the chicks they're dealing with are flirty, you know, promiscuous. You know, they want to fuck him. They want to fuck her. Yes, her, because a lot of chicks nowadays... They all types of sexual, you know, they bisexual, pansexual, demisexual, above the sexual, sapiosexual, you know, whatever sexual that out nowadays, you feel me? Because there's all types of sexual. Like when I was growing up, you were either heterosexual or homosexual. Now they got all types of sexuals. They got trisexuals now. You feel me? They'll try anything. But, you know, back to the lecture at hand, you know, uh, dudes, they boo one about it. They crying a fucking river, tears, threatening to kill themselves, off themselves, 86 themselves, because this chick, she want new dig, dig, dig. She, she want to exercise her options. And guess what? I'm not mad at her. Real talk, I'm not mad at women who want to exercise their options because they are who they are. You know, some women, they, they want multiple partners or they, they find out or they think rather, they think that they have multiple soulmates, you know, soul partners, you know, soul. They 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 have multiple love interests. You feel me? And you know, I have no problem with that. And th- that's what polyamorous relationships are about. But let's just say, for the sake of argument, that you're into monogamy. You're a monogamous dude. You know, you don't want to fuck a lot of chicks. You know, you're not a swinger because being polyamorous and swinging, they're two different things. You feel me? Swinging is just sex. You know, wife swapping. Polyamorous, that means you're in a relationship with more than one person and everybody knows each other and everybody are cool with the arrangement. But let's just say you're monogamous and you're not with the fuckery of polyamory. Now, no offense to people who are into the polyamory lifestyle, who are polyamorous, but you know, for the sake of jokes and all that shenanigans, I just want to speak with my my monogamous audience. You know, yes, I want to speak to the dudes, even even if they're not monogamous, because you have dudes in a lifestyle, in a swing lifestyle, they catching feelings over broads when they really supposed to be fucking. It's like, how you in a swing lifestyle and you catching fee-fees over a chick who want to fuck multiple dudes and chicks? How? Like, you don't belong in a lifestyle if you want to... Anyway, anyway. So, let's just say, you know, you're that type. You, you just want to be with a chick, but this chick... She wants multiple partners. Now, first and foremost, don't deal with the broad. But let's just say you want to work it out. First and foremost, you know, the one thing I can say is that, you know, wait your turn. Yes, wait your motherfucking turn. When it's your turn, then hey, you know, fuck her like it's your last piece of pussy. And, you know, just treat her accordingly. But at the same time, I I would say exercise your options because if my chick is polyamorous, I'm not worrying about what she's doing because I'm getting my nut off too. I'm getting my shit off too. You feel me? All I'm saying is that be honest, be truthful, and don't come home with a motherfucking disease, man. Don't give me the fucking bug because you want to be a fucking creep. You feel me? But, you know, if you're the monogamous type, just don't deal with her or just see the situation for what it is. Y'all just fuck buddies. Listen, if you're a monogamous dude... You should not wife up a chick if she's polyamorous, if she, if she want to deal with multiple dudes, if she want to be in a relationship or have relations with multiple people. You know, it's like trying to um, mix vodka with milk. You feel me? You can't fit a square in a motherfucking circle. You feel me? And you're the square who's trying to be a part of a circle that doesn't belong to you. So you need to deal with like-minded women. You know, if she's promiscuous... Then if you're the type of person who want to accept her for the way she is, then you shouldn't bitch about it. You know, you accepted the terms, the rules of engagement. So when, you know, she's saying she's going to see this dude or she's saying that, you know, she's going on a date or she has company. There's no reason to get mad about that because she told you what it was at the same time. Even if you're dealing with a flirtatious chick or a chick who's promiscuous, don't allow disrespect to happen in front of your face. You know, when you're with this chick, it's supposed to be you and her, nobody else. Her time should be dedicated to yours, which means 
if no if those phone calls and texts are not family or close friends and if it's not a fucking emergency and i'm not talking about a dick in a guard a dick in a glass jar emergency i'm not talking about a dick emergency i'm talking about a legit emergency like somebody in a hospital somebody needs help somebody is like somebody passed away knock on wood if it's not that then she should give you her utmost attention nobody except you you know she shouldn't be when y'all out and about she shouldn't be you know trying to flirt to the dudes in front of your fucking face when she knows that you're not about that life and even if you were about that life it's still it's still a respect issue you know because when y'all out and about and she can't control her urges then this is not the type of chick who you want to be with unless you're a fucking pimp like you pimp chicks like that who you know they got trigger pussy you know itchy pussy you know they don't know how to keep it to themselves so it's all about respect just because a person is promiscuous that doesn't mean that you should you should excuse them for not having home training you know, it's a respect issue. You could be promiscuous and still have some discipline, still have some standards. You can still respect the person you're with. You understand me? When you're with somebody, you may have a wandering eye, a wandering eye, but, you know, be incognito about it. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it blatant to the point where you don't give a fuck about the person you're with. Like, do it on the sly. You feel me? Do it on the, on the sly. You know, you, you could do, you could look at your peripheral vision. You know, and say, okay, that person looked nice. You know, like you, you can still show discretion. Yes, that's the word. You could be discreet about it. But if a chick just, you know, openly flirting with another dude in front of you, er, that's a red fucking flag, playboy. And you should not deal with a type of chick like that. I don't give a fuck if she's promiscuous. I don't give a fuck if she's polyamorous. It's the principle. It's the principalities. Yes, I know that's not a such word, but fuck it. I'm on one tonight. So, you know, it's a respect issue. How to deal with a promiscuous woman? Y'all should sit down and set out the rules of engagements. And once you accept those rules then you can't change the game with a knife in it, meaning you can't get mad at her for doing shit that y'all agreed on. You knew that she want to fuck a lot of dudes, so why are you putting a hissy fit like a little bitch? You understand me? But if you can't handle a promiscuous woman, a chick who's in a polyamorous relationship, or she's in a swing lifestyle, or she's flirty, then she's not your cup of henny. You feel me? It's like y'all not on the same wavelength. Like, you could fuck. Y'all could be fuck buddies, but even when y'all fuck buddies, you shouldn't catch feelings. I don't give a fuck how good the pussy is. You shouldn't catch feelings. Just wait your fucking turn. Wait your turn, playboy. Wait your turn. And then when it comes back to you, after she's done playing with musical dicks, then beat it up. <clears throat> Bust them cheeks. Beat her down, down, down. And show her what she's been missing. Yeah, so just treat her for what it is. She's just a fuck buddy. You know, she's not looking for anything serious. She's not looking at anything serious with you because you're not polyamorous. So if she likes you and you like her, then just be fuck buddies. Simple as that. You can't, like, you, listen, you don't catch feelings over chicks like that. You catch flights. Now, I'm not trying to be crass. I'm not trying to be, you know, rude. I'm not trying to be heartless or cold hearted. I'm saying that you shouldn't catch feelings because you're monogamous. I'm not saying that she ain't shit. Especially when she's truthful and honest towards you. I'm not saying that you should treat her like a dog and you should view her as a slut or a hoe. She's being honest with you, yo. She's being honest. So it's about your decision and you can't get mad at it. Especially when she lay her cards on a fucking table. You understand me? So proceed with caution. If you know you can't handle you know, your woman dealing with other men, then hey, walk away. Find something who's your speed. Because shorty may be a little bit too fast for you. And next thing I know, you're on social media crying a river. You're on live talking about you want to kill yourself, jump off a bridge because this chick doesn't like you like that. You put this chick on a pedestal, you know, and it's like you put more value in her than you do yourself. And then because you so into this chick and she's not the prototype, she's not the type of chick that you want her to be. And you want to try to change this chick. 
then it's like now you don't know what to do with yourself. You you cannot change the nature of a person. Man, male, female, whatever the case may be. Man, woman, whatever the case may be. You know, you can either deal with that person or leave. And people don't really change. They change how they move or they get tired. So they want to, you know, slow down as they get up there in age. So it's all on you, playboy. Use your discretion. And, you know, every woman, just because she looks good, that doesn't mean she's good for you. She may be good, a good woman, but she may not be good for you. You feel me? And on that note, this has been another episode of Swingers After Dark, and this is your host, Not Son, baby. Check out my website at www.notsonblaze.com. That's www.nahsunblaze.com. And check out my ebook, You, Me, Us, Them. The Swinging Manifesto. It's on Nook, Kindle, iBus, Google Play. Go get it. It'll make you say, uh, na 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 na, ow. And shoot me an email at swingpodcast at gmail.com. That's swingpodcast at gmail.com. And hit me up with any questions and or concerns that you may have, have, have. Rate, share, subscribe on this podcast. You da 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 dig. And on that note, until next time, peace. And don't kiss them holes in the mouth, baby.